Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a really quick and easy way of doing color grading or split toning in a way that adds color to the image with just a single curves adjustment. First of all, just a quick look at the color wheel here and to note what we're going to do is, is a bit of the split toning where we're putting some color into the highlight put orange in the highlights and put the opposite of that so a complementary color scheme of teal into the shadows which means and teal notice here is next to blue there's a bit of green in it um, but more blue and similarly the orange here there is more red and also a bit of green so literally all we do is put in a curves here and we're going to simply go to the red first of all if you pull red up everything gets more red and if you pull things down everything is the sign is not so much increasing it's a, you can see more cyan it's because we're taking the red away which leaves cyan but we want to have red in the highlights up here because that's part of the orange and if we pull this down here we're taking red out and making the shadows more cyan which is bringing out more of that teal color and then if we go to green again if we pull it up because more green put it down it takes green out which makes it more magenta so for this we want about half as much green as red in the highlights and down here for the shadows yeah we want to kind of a bit of green in here as well so we'll pull this up here but do we want any green in the middle because if we do that we get overall green cast don't think so so I'll grab that and put another one and pull that right down then we can also go to blue and see what we can do with this again pulling up makes it more blue putting down blue down pulls blue out takes blue out which makes it look more yellow so that would be a bit of yellow adds to the orange effect in the highlights and the blue adds to the teal effect in the shadows and we can just balance it out there so it's roughly going through the middle so we get a balanced picture that's it and you can of course just adjust any of these play with any of the colors just know how the colors are going to mix and you'll find it a lot quicker and easier to get the result that you want and you can also, of course, add blending modes and play with opacity to get, adjust the strength. So there you go. Very, very quick, very easy way of colouring a photograph. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.